Hey, this is John Carlos, and I'm here with a look at the Sideshow Collectibles six scale figure of the Raging Cajun Gambit. And while you're watching this video, go ahead and click like and subscribe. I friggin' love that the back of the packaging for this is the cover of issue number one of the Gambit miniseries. I had that miniseries. Uh, I'm a product of the 90s. So between the Jim Lee, Chris Claremont run of X-Men and X-Men the Animated Series, Gambit is my favorite X-Men character. Don't judge me, he's still my favorite X-Men character. So yeah, I am a little excited that Sideshow has made a six scale figure of the Raging Cajun. And uh, first of all, I gotta say, I'm really happy with the head. Uh, because when I saw photos of it, I really thought it was going to look very monkey-like. It really looked monkeyish in those photos with the ears and, you know, with his little face mask. But having it in hand, it's still kind of monkeyish, but it looks better than I expected. His jaw is more well-defined, the cheeks, he looks less ape-like. Uh, the ears still pop out a bit, but it's not as drastic as it photographed, in my opinion. And the details on the face are pretty good. I love the, uh, the arched eyebrows, a lot of good personality. Slight smirk to the mouth. The way they painted the stubble looks really, really good to me. Cheekbones look good. The way the skin kind of pinches between the cheek and the nose looks great. I love the eyeballs. Uh, the swoop of his hair is excellent. So yeah, uh, I do have some nitpicks worth pointing out. I will say it would have been neat if uh, this coat had a wire going through the edge of it so you could pose it, if you will, in some kind of fun flared out positions. That would be neat. Uh, also worth noting the uh, ankle joints. Uh, this, there's a, a little break right here. And, and I mean, the, the break blends seamlessly, but you can't bend the figure forward very much at that ankle joint. Otherwise the leg pops right off because of this little edge right here. The, the, the feet have popped off. Um, also, little nitpick, but I gotta mention this. I do wish the black at his neck was sculpted so it matched the surface of his face mask cowl. I understand why it's cloth. It's because there's a joint at the base of the neck that lets it pivot forward, but it barely moves. So like, all th that lack of matching for articulation, but it's very limited articulation, I would gladly sacrifice that bottom neck joint if it meant a sculpted black that, whose paint matched the, the little face cowl. But man, that face looks really good in profile though. The rest of the figure though does look really cool. They did a good job capturing his look, like the little chest piece. Um, the main chest looks good, but if you want an ab crunch or a ball joint in the torso, uh, bummer. Uh, but the, the, the leggings, like the tights slash pants with the little pattern going down the side looks good. His boots look awesome. And one thing I really dig, besides the general tailoring of the coat, and I do like the collar, but the inner lining looks awesome. I think they did a great job creating a really fancy looking lining to this coat. Really surprised me, I wasn't expecting that. Now, the first accessory we need to talk about is the alternate hair sculpt, which looks good, but I still prefer this one, and that's just a personal preference because this version of Gambit is the version that I first fell in love with in the 90s. But I do like long-haired Gambit in the comics and whatnot, and I think Sideshow has done an excellent job with this sculpt. First of all, it covers up his monkey ears, so that's good. But two, it just looks good. It's got a good flow. It still reads like Gambit. It's real quality work. Uh, I think it fits his face. It matches his smirk's attitude with that little hair hanging down. The flow of it, it's excellent. Like, I would be hard-pressed to actually kind of pick which one to display. Not quite 50-50 with the choice, but like, you know, 55-45. Like, this is a damn good head of hair. Other accessories include his bow staff, which uh, actually has a little bit of weight to it, which I'm not sure if this is actually made of metal or just has some sort of metallic coating. Now, out of the packaging, the figure comes with fist hands, but he comes with several other sets of hands, including grip hands. Um, we have full-blown, like, hands with palms wide open. We have uh, hands with the, the two fingers. And then we also have the whole other set of the same thing with uh, the kinetically charging hands that with the fade out for the, the double the double finger, the uh, open palm, splayed out fingers, and then both the grip 
and fisty hands. One of the little things I really dig though is uh, I always loved Gambit's gloves. Uh, they were so cool when I was a kid and I think they did a great job with the, uh, the sculpt and the cut of his gloves. And of course we get Gambit's signature playing cards. We get four aces, one in each suit, and if you look at the center of the heart, and center of the spade, and center of the diamond, you will see the little X-Men logo. You will see a circle with an X also on the back of the cards. We also get one kinetically charged playing card, and I love the swirl, the red, fiery, smoky swirl coming off this. This is a really, really fun accessory. We also get a like kinetically charged throwing swoopy thing. Um, the cards fit into little slots right in here. Let me uh, show you a closer look at the uh, little slot there. It's kind of hard to see, but the card does slide in there like so. And what's also neat is it fits into the, uh, the, the fingers of this hand. It plugs onto the index and middle finger. And you can see just how it lines up like the sculpt of it lines right up like it's perfectly sculpted good job to them you can use that on the uh, the regular gloved hand or the uh, kinetically charged gloved hand and I, I really dig how that looks it is worth mentioning that there's a little bit of a gap between the fingers so you can slide the playing card in between the fingers and man, does that look cool. Oh yeah, and we get a figure stand. Here's a closer look at the card throwing attachment as it fits onto the figure. And I gotta say, I think it looks freaking great. I am happy to report that the head does pivot very nicely on the neck so that I can bend the figure forward at the waist, have him bent down, but still have his head looking upward. Also, the ankle joints, even though they don't hinge forward and back very well, they do hinge side to side very well. So I can spread his legs apart and still get his ankles to pivot side to side and flatten out and stabilize. Oh, and one little thing that I should mention before we wrap things up here is that the bottom of his boots have little X's on them. I mean, come on, how cool does this look? Sideshow would have been foolish if they didn't include this with the set, but I'm glad that they did. And, you know, having it included and all the different little things that you could do to pose it, I'm just so glad that they got this right, because as a Gambit fan, this is just freaking awesome. Now, this figure retails for $265, which is comparable in price to a Hot Toys figure. Now, for this price, are you getting an accurate face sculpt that looks like a celebrity? No. Are you getting a detailed replica of a movie costume? No. But what you are getting is a damn good Gambit figure. Despite some of the limitations of the articulation, like I mentioned, the, the chest does not have like a, uh, a mid-torso crunch or a ball joint at all. The shoulders, uh, while ball jointed, there is no like rotation forward or back. The ankles are a little limited. But you know what? You do get a really solid figure that, uh, you know, comes with certain standards that I really like that Sideshow does. Like the fact that all their alternate hands have their own wrist pegs. Um, this is a really solid sculpt. It totally looks like Gambit with some really, really great accessories, plenty of alternate hands. The costume looks great. The hair looks great. If you're a Gambit fan, uh, this is an excellent six-scale figure of Gambit. I think Sideshow did a great job with this. Thanks for watching, everybody, and let me know in the comments below what you think of this figure. And if you want to be up to date with all my latest reviews, be sure to click subscribe.